Be joined now by the head coach of the Wolverines, Jim Harbaugh. Coach, you guys really got after it. Nice long practice. What do you like most about this time of year? Oh, the time when the team is forged in the training camp. And uh, I think my favorite part is just coming out. You're outside. You're the sun shaping the body and carving the mind. My favorite part. Coach, they, the NCAA continues to change the rules about camp now. We're 25 day off after seven, no double sessions. Do you like what we're doing now? You have the kids all year round. Is this a good format, the latest NCAA format? Well, I mean, I think they've they've, they've taken it down to as far as they could possibly right. take it and, and still have a chance to get your team ready for a ball game. I mean, you still have to be able to build up a callus, you know, to play, uh, play big time football. So, um, and there's no question that, you know, 10, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, there was a lot more. There was a lot more volume, a lot more uh, uh, two-a-days, or sometimes uh, coaches used to talk about to us how they used to have three-a-days. Right. But, um, you know, I think the thing that's still the same is is uh, the mental, you know, the uh, to be able to come out every day, every single day, and um, be where you're supposed to be, and you got all the football being thrown at you, and... Um, that fight is still going on, you know, with each individual player in between the years where, uh, you know, they got to ask themselves, are they really good enough? Are they up to it? Can they, uh, you know, can they, can they make it? And, uh, and then, you know, once they, once they figured that out, that they, that they can, then, uh, you know, then they start looking around at, at positions where they can, where they can move up the depth chart, where they can uh, contribute on special teams or where they can contribute uh, as a starter. And then, uh, you know, once you do that, then, and your next challenge is you look around the Big Ten and go, uh, you know, can I beat out the, right. can I be the best in the Big Ten at my position? And, uh, and then in some rare occasions, you know, you're talking about being in the best in the country. But it's every guy, you know, is, you know, has that, uh, that challenge in front of them. Uh, and, and they got, you know, they got to face it. And, and then some do and some don't, you know. Right. And, um, and then that you gain separation. You know, it's a really good word. Uh, and that happens in training camp. Uh, you know, there's separation between, you know, who's, who's got the grit and who's got the, the salt to do it, and and uh, and who should move on to their life's work in some other area. Coach, can you talk about the addition of somebody like Coach Jim Malcolm and all the experience that he has? What has he added to the offensive coaching staff? A lot of fire. He is. I mean, he coaches, coaches hard every day, and uh, he's just he's really completely thrown himself into it. I mean brings the energy, brings the enthusiasm every single day, and he's got a great love for football, and and uh, you know, our team has grown very fond of him very quickly, and uh, he's grown fond of our team very quickly, uh, and a wealth of knowledge, uh, but he is he is really uh, taking the bull by the horns, and he's doing a great job. Hard to tell it one day, but the offensive line looks much improved, great pad level. How do you how do you assess their progress? Well, they uh, they really did well in nine on seven. That yeah, was uh, you could hear the plastic popping. That was uh, you know good old fashioned nine on seven, and you know both sides, both sides getting the getting the licks in, uh, and you like to see that. Uh, and you can hear you can hear a good nine on seven, <laughs> you. can't you, Coach? Yes, you can. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have to be watching. You can you can hear it, and you know both sides were. Uh, you know, really thumping, and uh, you know, that was great to see. You got a lot of talent on offense this year, wide receiver to tight end's position. How good is it going to be to have Tariq play? It's, it's, uh, that's big. Tariq is uh, really fully healthy. He's, you know, he's back where, uh, you know, he was last year, and, uh, and, and some other guys are coming along, too. There's, uh, and I may let just let him stay under the radar for just, just a minute. If I, <laughs> Don't tip your if, hand. If, you, <laughs> if I might. Uh, exactly, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's happening right now. The uh, and as I said before, Coach McElwain's doing a terrific job with him, really coaching him on the on the technique, and and guys are responding. They're you know they're uh, they're they are they're they're meeting that challenge that we just talked about a little bit earlier, you know, and uh, it's good to see. Coach, a lot of hype obviously around Shea Patterson. What do you tell a young man who is so firmly in the spotlight about dealing with the scrutiny and the expectations? Well, just one day. I mean, it's just uh, we don't even have to think about tomorrow. I mean, just uh, come out here today, make it the best practice uh, of the season. And you, know, you talk about competition at, at every position. It's really showing up at the quarterback position where a rising tide can 
can lift all ships, and it's 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 happening at that position, and and I'm seeing it every day. So uh, and none more, more evident than at the quarterback position right now. So assess that spot for us. Where does it stand with those guys? Like I said, uh, you know the competition has been very good, and uh, the thing I don't I don't see anybody backing off, you know, and that's a that's a great thing. You don't see anybody that that is, you know, said uncle yet, and uh, and they're they're grinding every day. So uh, yeah, it, it's going on. <laughs> it is indeed going on. Yeah. The head coach of the Wolverines, Jim Harbaugh. Thanks, coach. Thank you very much.